Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, in various places on the internet. It's 9.02 p.m. according to the computer clock on Sunday, March 9, 2014. And today I went to see 300 Rise of an Empire. Ah, uh, I drove to Ocala, around an hour away from here, to see it in IMAX. I've never been to an IMAX theater before, so I thought, eh, I'll, I'll go and check out movie in IMAX for the first time. I never saw the original 300. I never read the comic books. All that I know is it's like ancient Sparta and I didn't even know where Sparta was. I, I guess it's Greece. Um, but yeah. So here's the uh, ticket. That's, yeah. It was 16 bucks. Um, it wasn't worth 16 bucks. Um, okay, about the IMAX experience itself, first of all. Yeah. Okay, um, it wasn't impressive, really. Uh, I was unimpressed with it. it it felt just like a typical 3D film, which whenever I went to see a film in 3D in the past, it never impressed me. That's why I usually avoid 3D films. I thought IMAX would be different. And yeah, bigger screen, but... I didn't care for it. Okay? And, uh, the only shots, there were like two shots early on in the film when the new Persian King, and I forget what his name is, he's looking down at the crowd. Um, that was a bit disorienting, and I thought, okay, that that's impressive, but after that, no, nothing. Uh, so, I might as well have just seen this in 2D, but the, th the thing is, I wouldn't have even seen this in 2D, because I went specifically just for an IMAX experience. Uh, so what did I think of the story itself? I don't care for it. It's okay. It's a comic book film in the, uh, in the worst sense of the word. The characters have little depth to them, I think. I, I didn't really care. Like, who, who was fighting who and who came out victorious. I mean, actually, the uh, the Persian general, I forget her name at the moment even, um, I was kind of rooting for her, especially when I found out her backstory where she was, she, she's of Greek origin, but she was kept as a Greek slave for years. And then you've got, you know, the Greeks talking about freedom and wanting freedom and stuff like that. It's blatant hypocrisy. It's like during the uh, American Revolution. Um, they were, you know, they wanted freedom and it's, it's like at the same time they owned slaves. It's like, it's like the British even pointed out the blatant hypocrisy of this, and uh, they even helped some slaves that had escaped from the plantations during the war, and some of the uh, British ships actually took them up to Nova Scotia in Canada. Um, but anyway, so yeah, uh, I was kind of rooting for, for this uh, Persian uh, general. And spoilers, uh, she gets killed. Um, which I, I thought was really... It was a shame. Well, I just hated when cute girls die in films in general. Uh, but if she had to have been killed, I really wish it would have been the uh, Spartan Queen that, uh, that killed her because she has every justification to do that because um, he, I, I believe it was her husband that uh, the, the Persian general had 
uh, killed. Um, I, again, I'm, uh, I was struggling to find out who was related to who, and I really couldn't keep track of their names. Uh, and I could keep track of or maybe only a handful of characters just by visual appearance. But yeah, um... If you want to see it, sure, go, go and see it, but you can, you might as well just see it in 2D, or heck, just, just red box it. Um, when, when it comes out on home video. Uh, so, so that's where, we, oh yeah, boobs, you get to see boobs. So I, I guess that's, that's kind of nice. Um, other than that, anyway, uh, it's 9.08 p.m. and that's it. Thanks for watching.